Hello everyone, it's Kylie Vitucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with you. Hello everyone! Yay! Kerry's here, good, brilliant. Everyone's saying hello. Hello from Kansas, USA. Hi Cheryl. <laughs> Sharon's saying hi to Pam. Lovely to meet you, Pam. <laughs> So good to see you all here. I can't believe how quick these weeks fly away. Aren't they just incredibly fast? Seriously, good thing for my weekly updates. I wouldn't know what day of the week it was because you blink and it's Friday in Australia or blink and it's Thursday for all of you. <laughs> Hello, good to see you all. We've got lots of exciting things to share with you today as always. There's been lots of crafting going on in the Batucci household um, and we're just having a blast with all these brand new products. I'm, in fact, I'm highlighting some of the brand new products for you today. Uh, the main one that I want to be an absolute highlight is the Feels Like Frost Designer Series Paper, the 6x6. And we're going to be highlighting this amazing silver side of the paper because it's absolutely stunning. But even this side is stunning too, so it's going to be really difficult to chop and use this paper because both sides are just as beautiful as the other. So this is definitely one of those packs you are going to more than likely need to split up and have half-half so that you're going to be okay about using it. You'll be like, it's okay, I have spares, it's okay. Or you may even decide to just get a whole another pack. So one pack you can say one pack is just for silver and the other pack is for the other side, the patterned, so that you're not hoarding them, you're not holding on to them because that's no fun at all for anyone. Hi Bev, I'm glad to, that you can catch me too. Hi Randy. So this amazing 6x6 paper is absolutely delicious and Bruno actually took part in the Gentleman Crafters blog hop. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was last Friday, I think it was, um, but he made the most beautiful card that I thought, you know what, we're going to replicate that card for some of our very VIP customers, some customers that we want to say a big, big thank you to because some of you are absolutely loving this holiday catalogue and you have spent so much that you would have been better off joining. <laughs> That's what we say every time. We see an order over $169. We're like, why didn't they join? I was speaking to someone who was going to place an order and she said, oh, I've got a $400 order for you. And I said, look, it's totally up to you. You can totally order. However, if you join, you're going to get $235 worth of product for only $169. So you're going to save yourself $66. And whatever's left you're going to get 20% off that. So basically it reduced it some ridiculous amount, but it reduced it so much that she's like, you know what? I really need to join. I'm like, yes, you need to join because it will save you money. <laughs> we want to save you. Well, we say save you money. It means you can spend more and get more for your money because <laughs> we all know we've, we've got a budget. We'll stick to our budget, but then at least you can get more. It is a very, very good catalogue and there's a lot of exciting things in this catalogue. The other thing that I'm going to be showing you today that Bruno used in his card is the Frosted Frames dies. These are absolutely beautiful. And we're also going to bring in something from, that's Bruno saying hi Patsy. Um, we're also going to bring in something from the annual catalogue because I like to have a little bit of a mashup. It's like, remember the annual catalogue is still there. In fact, it's a very new catalogue. It only came out in June. We barely got time to breathe and then the holiday catalogue was here. So just remember there's some amazing products in the annual catalogue as well. So this one here is this brilliant, amazing sentiment, this big thank you that just becomes a, a hero on its own. It's a fantastic um, die and I know that you're going to love it. So we'll have a look at these. Now these cards i'll show you all of these bruno made these cards but check this out i love seeing cards in bulk do you love seeing cards in bulk i just love it look at this look at all of this 
It's so beautiful. I'll wait until we're on the screen too and I'll show you it lying down as well. But we used different colouring and you can see in the background, whatever we've put in the background is what we've used with the sentiment. And it just looks absolutely amazing. So these are for our very VIP customers who have been spending absolutely ridiculous amounts that we love them so much we want to show them how much we love them with these gorgeous, very special VIP cards because they're, they're really special to us, our customers. And look at them in all these different gorgeous colours, different backgrounds. So you've got the different silver backgrounds and then that frosted frame die at the front there for both the foil and the whisper white section as well. Look at it even in the um, purple posy, which hopefully should be coming any day now. We're so hanging out for that purple posy ink. I'm so glad that it's coming still though, which is very exciting. And we've just done uh, a little bit, Bruno thought of an idea of putting the little bit of um, basic gray behind the sentiment. And it just really creates a pop. It makes it look like that is 3D. Look, if you just use the purple posy on its own, where is the sentiment? It disappears. So by putting that shading in the background, it just adds an extra dimension to the card. I know they're so beautiful. So many of them. They just keep going. So that's all of our beautiful cards. We're going to be making that together today. And again, with a little bit of a twist because we've realized that, ah, oh, we don't have any foil left, silver foil. So we've ordered some more. That's the best thing when you run out. It's like, yes, I've accomplished something. I've used something till it ran out. Um, so I actually like to love it, chop it with my silver foil as well. Well, all of my foils. And I put them in one of our wood mount clear cases and have them ready to go. And that helps a lot because before that, I was really scared about using my foil. But when it's in the smaller sizing, so the card front size, then it's actually a lot easier to pull it out and use it. Like you look at all this and you can see. Ta -da! And this is champagne, this one, by the way. This isn't, even though it looks silver, it's actually champagne. So that is a really good tip. I can give you that tip with your foil. Love it, chop it. Make sure it's all sorted. So the thank you die is $31. Thank you, Bruno. It is a beautiful. You're going to love it. Now, uh, what was... I, I was going to show you one more thing before we start creating. Firstly, if you are one of my card template people, and you know who you are, if I say card templates, you're all over it. These are the colours that you are going to, for the measurements, that you're going to be using for our card today. So the base, um, the first layer, second layer, third layer. So they're, they're your measurements that you'll need. So you can screenshot that and it's in order. Now, if you haven't got our card templates and you don't know what I'm talking about, I will put a link up and you can read all about it. Um, once you get your head around what they're all about, I'm telling you they will change your crafting forever particularly if you run classes and if you have some newbies who have never crafted before, the most overwhelming thing is measurements. And measurements, I used to hate them, absolutely hate them. I do, I do not want to be doing math when I'm doing something fun. You've just taken away my fun. So this just brings the fun back because instead of having to work out what measurements you need, how they match up, how to get a nice layer... No, we don't want to be using our brain. We want to be having fun. So this will help you to continue to have fun in your crafting. And it will also give you a um, measurement in every country because we all use different measurements. And it will help you to understand um, exactly what's going on. So this is the video, actually. Is that the video? Oh, no, it's my blog. But it's just the, um, it's got a video attached to it as well. So you can get the full understanding. Hello, Bruno. Hello, everybody. What's happening? Um, I think the DSP layer is smaller than... No, I checked it. You did? Yep. I measured against it. Look, look at this. Look how perfect it is. Ta-da! Okay, Are you impressed with me? Yeah. I found the layer. Bruno goes, 
oh, there wasn't a layer for this one. I'm like, I'm sure I've done that layer. I'm sure there's a layer, but yes, I found the layer. Bruno's just making sure. So these are definitely the layers for your card today. Now, before we jump in and make the card, I just wanted to do a shout out to Love It, Chop It. Kerry says, hi, Bruno. He would have come in, but he's still in his pajamas. I'm so jealous. Although he helped me a lot this morning getting this all ready. <laughs> I was like, can you cut my card for me, please? I'm going live in like 20 minutes. Please cut it all. Um, so I'm doing the Love It, Chop It video in case you haven't seen that one. In case you've had your hand, head in the sand and you've missed the Love It, Chop It phenomenon. Um, it is just the best. I absolutely love it. It's not for everyone. I've had comments saying, no, I don't like cutting it. All good. My main philosophy is just that I want us to use the paper. I don't care how you do it. I don't care how you chop it. I just thought of a really simple way for us to use it. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Bev. Hi, Luann. Oh, you're in your pajamas. I'm penguin pajamas. <laughs> So my theory on Love It, Chop It is that from a 12 by 12 piece of paper, you can get six card fronts. So if you know that you are a card maker more than anything else, more than 3D projects or scrapbooking, then the best thing you can do as soon as you get your paper is to chop it. If you know that's what you're specifically going to be using it for, just do it. Just chop it straight away. Um, someone said to me, where do you store it? Surprisingly, I don't have a lot of storage because I use it. I know, phenomenon. Like, don't even need to keep it because I just put it, I make 72 cards from that pack of paper and um, it's brilliant because I can use it for random act of kindness. I can give them to my customers. I can give them to friends. We're going to for dinner um, tomorrow night. So I'll take a card to my friends to thank them for a beautiful meal. Um, it's just so awesome having these cards ready to go um, and you don't have to put the sentiment on either until you actually need the card. So it's brilliant. Yay, Deborah's doing love it, chop it. Now she needs to use it. Yes, that's a big, big part of it. So I'm going to show you this brightly gleaming paper that is from the holiday catalogue. I posted this on my blog last night and... They are absolutely stunning and so simple. All we've done here is just a little strip with this thank you. This thank you, uh, someone was asking me where did I get this sentiment from because it's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? It is from an annual catalogue stamp set called Sincere Condolences. So definitely look out for that. Yes, I like that hashtag, Shelley. We might have to change it to love it, chop it, use it. I think, I think we, we're going to have to. It's just got to be part of it. We love it, chop it, and love it, chop it, use it. <laughs> so these have just come up so beautiful. Like, look at this one here. Absolutely gorgeous. But if you do love it, chop it, and you want to step it up, you totally can. I've got a card here that I did not too long ago. And this is just a step up on, instead of just doing the one panel, I've just cut a little strip, had it a little bit smaller, and then that leaves a strip. That strip that you cut out can be used on the inside of the card then. Ta-da! So that is a really, really nice idea to just step it up a little bit from the one before. I know this Dishonor Series paper is beautiful. <gasps> so delicious. So I've done it with the copper foil. And this stunning um, frame is the Ornate Frame dies. And this one here... Hmm, what was this one? Let's have a look on my blog because I have all, everything listed there. Well, I should. It'll be the one time I don't have it listed. <laughs> I'll be like, mm, what's that sentiment? Um, Woven Heirlooms Cling Stamp Set. So that is in our annual catalogue. Woven Heirlooms. Isn't that beautiful? It's so nice to know that that sentiment fits in this frame too. So the frame's from the holiday catalogue, the paper's from the holiday catalogue, foil from the annual, and the stamp set from the, the annual as well. So definitely look out for that one because it is beautiful. So these are all the Lover Chopper. I've got some more here from this pack, and it'll just show you 
how versatile this one pack of designer series paper can be. And it's still a work in progress. <laughs> I've still got a few more to do. But how cool is this? Like literally, we can smash that out within maybe a couple of hours. Cut all that up, chop it all up, get that paper out. And you just have the most versatile cut, like masculine cards, feminine cards. These are totally neutral. They could be either either. I really think that they're just the best. And this one here is probably one of my faves. I didn't get to show it on my blog last night, but check out this paper. I think this is my favorite one, as well as the peacock. How gorgeous is that? And that, again, could be masculine or feminine. If you wanted to soften it a little bit, make it more feminine, you could probably um, do a bit of tousling, tousling, however you say it. <laughs> Another knuckabilly. <laughs> I know, I'm really bad. I'm an enabler. <laughs> so, yes, you can just see, like, seriously, it's so much fun to have so many cards on hand. And... They're just brilliant. Like if I received these cards, I would be so ecstatic. I would be so happy. Sorted. Just so good. Love it, chop it, people. If you haven't already, and now is a good time to love it, chop it, because there's, and I'll show you on my store, there's actually a, I'll just show you, share my screen with you. There's, there's, if you go to my um, KylieBatucci.com blog, oh, here we go, there it is. I'm like, why am I seeing me? <laughs> it's because I'm there. Um, I'm going to do a little picture in picture so that you can see my, my facials, my facial expressions. I'll put myself up the top there. Hi, I'm back. So on my KylieBatucci.com website, you can see I've got subscribe, you get a free bundle when you sign up, like a tutorial bundle you can join, and you can also shop. So if you click on the shop now button, I've got the new host code here as well. So once you click on that shop now button, it'll open up, so it'll have my name here, Kylie Batucci. Yes, you're in the right place. And it's got this here, buy a three, get one free. So it's a perfect time if you love your paper, you can save on select papers. So all of these papers here, if you buy three, then you get one for free. I love that idea. And it's a great way to stock up on your designer series paper. And this Magnolia Lane, the Perennial Essence, Bird Ballad, they're just such brilliant, versatile papers. I've had a lot of fun with the Dino Raw. Super fun, great for kids, but even adults love dinosaurs. So there's some really, really cool. This Follow Your Art, it's great for anyone crafty. So if you're doing Random Act of Kindness and you want a bulk amount of cards to send out to lovely people around the world, you know, if we're, if we're crafters, that's a perfect one to use. Maybe even for team cards. Um, if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you want to send out a card to your team, perfect. Just do a whole lot of love it, chop it. The Come Sail Away, get a whole heap of masculine cards to give out to all the men in your lives. But it also has, has feminine touch to it as well. So you can use it for either either. So some really gorgeous one. The woven heirloom, the woven threads, it's great for your vintage type cards. And you just do it so quickly. Same with the pressed petals. So quickly you have a beautiful card. Really simple. And you can see, uh, I'll just put you on full screen, but... You can see with something like this, it's love it, chop it, but I've just added a bigger sentiment over the top of it and just done a bit of bling by adding some foil behind um, and just did a little tiny layer. So cut it a little bit smaller than usual and added that layer and it just adds another dimension to the card, just steps it up a little bit more. If you find that the love it, chop it's a little bit too simple for you, then voila, something like this or even something like this where you can cut it on the diagonal. You still do your normal card front size, but you can cut it on the diagonal, add a beautiful element of embossing. This is the hammered metal embossing folder from the holiday catalog. And then I've got a sentiment up the top there. So lots of ideas. There's a den uh, denim um, ribbon across there. So lots of ideas for love it, chop it. And especially your six by six paper. This is the one we're using today. If you're going to do a card front, you're going to be left with this little piece um, 
as a, an extra. And of course, it can make a beautiful card. So if you design all of your cards around this style, um, again, you can do this, so, this full front and then use some of these elements or do it exactly how I've done it here. Just add a big sentiment through the middle. I mean, this paper is so beautiful. I didn't want to cover it too much. But um, you could even do this gorgeous little strip. If you did that in the gorgeous grape and then uh, white embossed, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You would look like an absolute hero. Look like what I've done here, gorgeous grape and white embossed. You could just do a strip of that or even that exact cut out with the nested, um, stitch nested frames and then just put that on here. Do the exact same thing that you've done here on here to keep things simple. So yeah, Love It Chop It is a brilliant way uh, to feel like uh, you are accomplishing quite a lot because let's face it, crafters have the tendency to be hoarders and we want to break that mold. We want to get out of that habit of just collecting things and start using it. Hashtag love it, chop it, use it. We want to use it. So if you find that you haven't made a card for a little while, it's time to love it, chop it, use it and make sure that you pump out. And I know there was... Um, Someone who sent me a card, they said they haven't made cards for a while. It just brings your mojo back. If you haven't made a card in a little while, doing Love It Chop It is just a brilliant way to get yourself back in the headspace and to get those endorphins and the happiness from making cards. And then another layer on top of that is the happiness you get when you give it to other people and make a difference in other people's lives. So we have World Card Making Day literally just around the corner. It's coming up in the first week of October. So this is perfect because Stampin' Up! has asked us to send World Card Making Days around the world. Love everywhere. We want to send out so many cards to people everywhere. So Love It Chop It is perfect for that because you can make 72 cards from one pack of 12 by 12. Um, from the 6 by 6, I think it's double that. Because you have, how many sheets do you have in a pack? I think it's, yeah, it's a lot. Because you have 24 sheets, don't you, in a pack of 6x6? Six six? Anyway, I'll work it out for you. But I'm pretty sure, oh, 48. So 48 times 2. Oh, yeah, 76, the same. Yep. So there you go. Well, a little bit more. <laughs> a tiny bit more. Oh, no, it would be... <gasps> It'd be 96, 96 cards from a pack of six by six and 72 if you do the full front from a 12 by 12. Amazing! Who doesn't want to have that many cards in their stash? It's the best. Now, what else did I want to show you on that page? <laughs> Why can't I reply to Bruno? What am I doing wrong? Uh, we'll still see you, Kerry. Even if you just put it on the page, we'll still see your reply. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you on my Stampin' Up! page is the clearance rack has updated people. My lovely customers have been going crazy the last couple of days. Thank you all so much. We're so overwhelmed with all of your orders. We're so glad that you've been getting some awesome bargains. So up to 60% off selected items. So you just click on this image there and boom, guess what's on here? Some paper. Get yourself some more designer series paper. $7.70. Oh my goodness. Imagine if you said to someone, I can make 72 cards with for $7.70 plus your card stock. And, it, you know, all of us have a sentiment. We're not going to have to buy a sentiment. We all have that. So literally you're looking at, I think, cardstock for a, like a card front. You're maybe looking at, I think, around 20 cents for a piece of cardstock per card. So 20 cents by 72. What's that? Like a dollar forty? <laughs> Like maybe $14, it'd be a pack of paper, pack of cardstock. So if you just get one pack of cardstock, then you get this $7.70 paper. My goodness, it's like 72 cards for less than $25. Bargain!
Kitchen, the best. So good. So, you, you know, it's so affordable. You've got your garden impressions. You've got Needlepoint Nook. And I saw that there's a kit in here. Loving this kit. The Soft Sayings card kit is beautiful, this one. From $61 to $24. I've been saying to my customers, what a perfect gift to give to a friend, even a teenage girl. Oh my goodness, their mind would be blown. I know if I was a teenager and I got given a card kit, it would be my favorite present ever. I would be like loving the person that sent it to me. So that's a really good gift to get to some for someone. And I'm pretty sure that this kit includes everything. You literally do not need anything. Yep, it's even got the stamp and spot. So it has the ink, it has washi tape, it has dimensionals. Um, so all you need is literally just a little bit of Tombow glue. And you know, does not everyone have glue? Make your own, put some flour and water together. <laughs> everyone has glue. <laughs> It's even in the cupboard. So it makes 20 cards beautiful. $24. That is going to walk out the door. Do not leave that too long because that's going. I'm telling you, it's going to be gone. So I think already the Share What You Love Designer Series paper looks like it's been taken off. Yes, it's already sold out. So there's things selling out. So order today. Do not wait because they're going to be gone big time. Yeah, all sold out. Look at that. Gotta be quick. Come on, people. So if you're watching me, go. Go now. Go order on the clearance rack because you're going to miss out. You can come back to me. I'll still be waffling on. <laughs> but anyway, let's make some cards together. Thank you all so much for your support. We're so excited that you're loving all of these. Uh, Luann, yours might be different to Australia. In fact, it would be very different, probably. Um, so you guys probably sold out in the US and we still have some left over. So, yeah. And yes, Kerry, you figured it out. Sometimes it comes up on the screen like you're not replying, depending on what device you're using. Now, let me bring in all of our goodies. I'm going to show you my screen here, but I just want to do a little bit of a half screen. We want to do a split screen. And I've got to make sure. Okay, let's see. Have I got the right way around? No. Okay, that's better. Split screen. So I've got my beautiful grid paper here. Remember, there's also mini grid paper too. Hi, Jill. I like being called Hello Beautiful. That's very nice. And I have them all chopped up here thanks to Bruno Petucci. Thanks, Bruno. He chopped up literally everything. That's how good my husband is. Who doesn't want a Bruno? Seriously. Amazing. So I'm just going to fold my uh, basic grey cardstock in half. And the reason why we went for basic grey is it's just such a beautiful complement to the, the gorgeous silver. Because silver does have that sort of smoky slate basic grey base to it. Um, but it just gives it a nice, strong, stable base behind. Then remember the three colors so the base is the gorgeous grape size so these are your measurements gorgeous grape our next size is going to be we decided on this one to use coastal cabana so that is going to be your daffodil delight layer is that the same size yes it is so get your daffodil delight and that will tell you what size this is in your measurement in your country because we all have different measurements. This saves me from saying three measurements. Then we're going to have a little bit of Whisper White layer. A bit of a pop. That's the Granny Apple Green measurement. And then our last layer is the beautiful Designer Series paper. And that's going to be that one there. We're using this pattern. And that's Coastal Cabana layer. Okay. 
So they're your, they're your measurements so that you have them all good to go. Then we're going to cut out. We decided to mix things up because we didn't have enough of the silver foil, as I mentioned. So I've used my frosted uh, frames dies and Bruno's cut out this for me in Coastal Cabana. <gasps> Deliciousness. And then we've got this one in the Whisper White. And that's also from the same uh, frames. So it has this one here that's separate. So we've cut that out. And that's a beautiful um, one for sentiments if you wanted to stamp directly on there. But also today it's going to be perfect for just layering, um, really making the sentiment pop. Because I'll show you here. If I take that off and just had the Coastal Cabana. And then I came in with our sentiment, which is the thank you. So we're going to have the background in the basic gray. And then we're going to use the beautiful silver foil on top. And you can see it just sort of disappears into the card a little bit. It just doesn't have that same pop. I mean, it's still okay. It's nice. But also just framing it and making it a little bit smaller. So I'll show you here how it just brings it all together. And we're going to glue this all together. But you can see it's just that little extra element. And you don't have to do it, but I love all these extra little layers. So I'm going to use my Tombow glue. Tombow is my adhesive of choice because I can never line it up if I use normal glue. It's like a disaster waiting to happen. So we've got... In the way that Bruno has done it, he's done dimensionals here and dimensionals here. We, would we expect anything less? And dimensionals here as well. <laughs> There's three layers of dimensionals. <laughs> it is a dimensional card today. Remember, we've got to earn our next trip. <laughs> Although it hasn't started started earning yet, but you know, <laughs> we've got to keep the keep the the process going. You know, we earn our trips from dimensionals. <laughs> So we'll stick that down and the Tombow gives me that little bit of wiggle room that I need, especially with these close frames like this. Then we're going to stick this down. Isn't this paper beautiful? Just gorgeous. This one we might need a little bit of grid paper to guide us because it's not exactly, look it's actually easier to line up when it's closer. But that's good. The grid paper just helps me to sort of work it out and, and visualize it. So that is now going to be dimensionalized. Although this one looks like it's too wide. Have you noticed that sometimes when you cut your um, designer series paper in half that it's not exactly half? I've noticed that. Let's see if this one's... Because it's like it's a little bit bigger than the size it should be. I know it happens to me with the A4 size. So I actually tend to cut it in half and then I have to cut it again a little bit. Hello, Mandy. There we go. That's good. So we need our big container of dimensionals because we're going to be using... Oh, good. I'll use these outside frames for this because nothing gets wasted. Now, big thank you also. It has been a very busy week. Mandy's just reminded me because Mandy's one of our lovely uh, demonstrator training girls. We've been having a lot of fun on our demonstrator training page this month because uh, it's the end. It's our final month of demonstrator training because it's the last month of a Stampin' Up! year. So we have opened training for next year. Thank you all so much. Everyone who has signed up, our wonderful speakers, the speakers and who they have invited as well to come along. It has been such a buzz this week. Um, if you haven't received an email for me from me um, that gives you all the information about our new training program, please let me know. But thank you so, so much. If you want more details, if you are a demonstrator and you want more details about that training program, I do have a link here for you to check it all out. I think this is the right one. And if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, yeah, that's it. So if you have a look at that link, it has all the details if you are a demonstrator and you're wanting to step up your Stampin' Up! business um, and just learn some new skills because 
I tell you what, the girls have been so inspiring on that group. I know, it's so good. We've got so many beautiful people in that group. The group is seriously what makes the training because everyone has the same goal. Everyone is just so committed to help one another, to support one another, because when you help other people, I'm telling you, it's the best way to help yourself. It is the number one way, I think, that other than consistency, which everyone hears me saying continually, other than consistency, helping other people is like the best. It really, really does help you to make your business amazing because when you help other people, it teaches you and then you have to step up because you've given someone advice and help. You're like, ah, I better live up to what I've just told someone else to do. <laughs> So yes, please come and join us. You get a lot of support on the group. You can go there 24 seven and ask questions and vent, um, talk about things that you know, are, you're struggling with or ask for advice or how do I do this? And there's just a continual stream of support and help. It's inc an incredible group. So I know you're gonna love it. Yeah, we want more, more beautiful people to join us because I tell you what, it's a very, very positive group. I love positive groups. No, no time for negativity. We haven't got time for that. It's like we've got to build each other up, not, not start whinging and tearing each other down. We get enough of that in the world. It's a little haven. Beautiful. That's one layer down. Then we're going to do this layer here. So I can't believe there's dimensionals here and here. That's so hilarious. I shouldn't be surprised. It is a Bruno card. And I've got to do an ode to Bruno and make sure that I have all of the dimensionals where they need to be. I mean, if it was Bruno, I'm probably using way too less because he would literally cover the whole back <laughs> and the middle. Look, we finished them. How good's that? I love it when that happens. Put more dimensional. See, I told you. He's like, that's not enough. <laughs> I don't want my lovely viewers having like meltdowns because, you know, we find it hard to use our things. We're like, if I use it, it'll run out, even though I know I can just go and buy more. I don't know why we're like that. Now, did you put it that way? Yes, I thought that way was good. So we'll put that one there. I'm just eyeballing what looks good. Yes, that looks happy to me. And then we're going to do another one on here. Now there is a back and a front to this. You can see that it's not as perforated. This is nice and detailed. This one, not so much. So we know that that's the back. Yes, I agree. <laughs> How do you afford to, to keep him in dimensionals? Yeah, it's, I'm telling you, that's how we earn the trips. How did you win the trip? We bought dimensionals for Bruno. <laughs> $40,000 worth of dimensionals this year. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so the Silver DSP Kim is from the uh, beautiful uh, First Frost designer series paper that's in the holiday catalogue. It is gorgeous. And it's very difficult to decide because you have this beautiful silver on one side, but then look at the other side. Both sides is beautiful. Stampin' Up! are being really cruel to us. They're, put, they're testing our love at chop it abilities. And, you know, at the end of the day, Kylie gave you permission to get another pack. Yes, I give you permission. Everyone may buy another pack. Just remember that. Don't stress. Just buy 10 packs. All good. Life's fine. We, uh, we don't need to hoard it because we'll just get more. Now, it's very sad that we don't have adhesive sheets anymore, but hopefully Stampin' Up! come out with something. Oh, look, Siri's saying it's very sad that we don't have adhesive sheets anymore. <laughs> no, Siri, go away. <laughs> I don't know what I said that made her think that I was talking to her when I wasn't. So I'm just putting it along the edge because we're going to sort of go towards the edge. And it's not a big deal if there's not a huge amount of glue on here because it will grab. Tombow's brilliant like that. It's good that it dries clear as well. 
And if you wanted to, I've seen some demos use the sponge daubers and then just sponge it on. That's another way of doing it. But I find just, yeah, drawing or even your um, fine tip glue pen is very good for this too. So that works out really well. Or three packs. Love it, chop it, buy more. Love it, chop it, use it, buy more. <laughs> That's a new hashtag. So I'm going to put that on. <laughs> or love it, chop it, use it, repeat. I like that one. <laughs> And then we're going to stick this down. Oh, I love this card. Bruno, you've done so good with this card. We love your beautiful designs. He's a smart cookie, that one. Again, being very messy, but it's all good because it looks amazing. And I'm going to put it on the side a little bit just to... Wah! I like that. How beautiful is this? Would you be happy if you got this card? I would be so ecstatic. And then we're going to put the inside in. It is a stamp free card. Completely. Holy solely. And I should have been a bit more organized because I could grab some of the same designer series paper and use that on the inside. But I'll do that a little bit later because I don't think I'll have a look and see if I've got some. Because it's nice having a little inside decoration so these are our other side oh yeah there we go we've got some here i don't think we'll stick that all on <laughs> love you <laughs> you don't want it too big <laughs> i'll get my trimmer hopefully the new trimmer is coming soon who is counting down oh, counting down the days for our new trimmer Please step and up, bring it soon. So that's just a little piece there. Yes. And we need it to be the side, size of the poppy parade layer. That's the, the layer. Yes, it is a stunning work of art. So I'm going to put that there. Beautiful. And look at that. Now it all matches with each other. And how simple is that? Just using these pieces that are left over. And you can see this would still make an amazing card here at the front. Like if you just did the strip and then a sentiment. It's just such beautiful paper. So make sure that you're keeping every single bit of your designer series paper. And then using the same technique that I used on my cards that I showed you, um, particularly with the 6x6. Six six. And I have a video if you want to search 6x6 um, six six paper. Like you can see there just with the layers behind, you could do a similar thing there. But look at that. Just pretend that instead of this piece underneath, you've got this piece. Seriously. Just use the same design, swap out the designer series paper. So there you have it. Look how easy that is. And then the other piece can be the full card front. That's how you use six by six. Doesn't matter which one we get, it all works. So there you go. Oh, Angie's not well. That's not good. Have a little sip of my coffee. <sighs> so good. Now, let's go full screen. I got distracted with my coffee. <laughs> Ready? Here's our screen front. Yee! You saw it here. You were there. So, I know it, the purple one is amazing. Seriously, if you did that with the gorgeous grape. Yeah. Is that the one you're talking about? If you did it like that. So pretty. And you could use silver embossing instead of the whisper white just to tie it all in together. Lots and lots of ideas. So I really hope that this gets your creative ideas going, that you can do some love it, chop it. I know this mug's beautiful. It's from, um, what's the shop called, Bruno? T, T4. Four. Is it T4? I forget the name. 
T2. Why am I T4? T2. <laughs> yes, it is like Tropical Escape. This is my Michael Kors top. See, I've got my little Michael Kors emblem. It's my America purchase. Because everything's so much cheaper over there. It's ridiculous. I'd probably pay like $500 for this top over there. <laughs> it's so comfortable. It's the best. <laughs> I'm loving it. Yeah, it looks a bit like this one. Ready? I'm matching. I'm matching this designer series paper. <laughs> my top. My top is the designer series paper. I should use this one in the background. <laughs> so have a wonderful week, everyone. It's been so good spending time with you today. I'm so grateful to Bruno for helping me chop up all the card. And if you have any other questions, I can't think of anything else that's happening other than the buy three, get one free and that clearance rack. Do not delay on that clearance rack. And if your order is ever over $169, please think about joining. Even if it's just for the next three months that you get 20% off, it's still going to save you a lot of money. And before we know it, December's going to be here like that because that's the way time is flying. Um, and December is the start, for demonstrators anyway, we get to, to order from the new Occasions catalogue. I know. In November, we will be attending an event that shows all of the Occasions catalogue product. I will be able to order the brand new product in November. Like, it's just coming up so quickly. So, get shopping Get all your favourites because before we know it, there's going to be more deliciousness coming our way. And that's why it's just such a good idea to sign up because, you know, there's never any end really, is there, to gorgeous deliciousness, especially even if it's just paper. Oh, thank you, Pam. So glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you can have a Bruno card. Next time we'll actually get Bruno to make it for us, I think. Because we need, we need a Bruno day, don't we? We need Bruno to come and say hello. Yes, I'm so glad you could all be here. Thanks for your support. And thank you to all of those that have signed up for our demonstrator training and all to our, all our beautiful customers and my team members. My team members are seriously blitzing it this month. I'm so proud of all of them. We had 50 crazy crafters join us in June and July. 50! So they did so amazing. They shared what they loved with others and this is the result because they just love the products and when you love the products you want to share it with everyone yeah we'll keep him in his pajamas that's a good idea Carrie <laughs> good yes please case Kylie and tag me when you case it because we love seeing what you make so have a wonderful week <laughs> we shall see you very soon and um happy crafting hashtag love it chop it use it repeat Bye, everyone. Mwah. See you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching the replay, too. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. Bye. Click the bell, too. <laughs>